Hey guys, Arthur here. Today I would like to show you how you can use OpenSea Stream API, which is a WebSocket based service that enables you to listen to certain events emitted from the OpenSea. So for instance, whenever some NFT is listed, sold or its metadata is updated, you can get a notification and use it in your backend written in Node.js. So for instance, if you would like to update the ownership of your NFTs, then you can use Stream API. Of course, you have to request the API key from the official website of OpenSea. Here you can see my VS code and I already initialized um, the project using NPM in it. So I will not do it right now. I also have the Node.js uh, installed on my machine because we're going to use Node.js and we're going to prepare the listener script um, in Node.js. So first of all, you have to install AWS uh, package, which is responsible uh, for um, WebSocket uh, communication. And then we're going to use also OpenC uh, slash StreamJS um, library, um, which uh, will um, allow us to listen to the events emitted from OpenSea. Uh, one thing that is optional for you is .env. .env is library that allows you to load some environment variables. So for instance, if you have the token uh, for the OpenSea, you can load it using uh, .env. So first of all, I will just have here uh, three requires. We need to have WebSocket, OpenSea Stream Client and .env. And now I will configure the OpenSea Stream Client. And as you can see, I'm passing here the OpenSea from um, my dot and file but you can just paste the token here uh, if you have it from the OpenSea. Sometimes you have to wait one or two days to get the API key um, from um, them. Uh, but sometimes um, it, it can uh, take faster. So then we have to configure the connect options and we have to specify that we want to use the WebSocket. And now I will show you what happens if we just run this script with the on item li uh, listed and we will provide um, that we want to listen all items from the open seat that were um, listed. Um, so let's see uh, how um, this uh, would work. And we have joined the channel for all collections from the OpenSea. So as you can see, we have tons of events here. So we have a lot of data because we are listening to the all items that are listed on the OpenSea. And we have here a bunch of data. So we can see, for instance, what's the price, what's the payment token, uh, what's the quantity on which chain uh, this NFT was uh, listed, what's the timestamp, what is um, the address of the seller. So we have here a lot of uh, information. Of course, we can use just some pieces of the data that are interesting to us and our application. Um, now uh, we can try how to to get the events about not item listed but actually transferred and this is um, something uh, really interesting if you would like to upgrade ownerships of the certain NFTs because whenever somebody actually transfers the NFT it's good to have a notification and then you can um, just um, put this in your uh, database or air table or whatever. So um, now let's um, change this code a bit. So we are gonna listen to the item list, uh, listed events and we are gonna specify the collection Slack, uh, which is the ENS. And right now we're going to get the events only relevant to the collection ENS. And this is a very interesting because uh, if you have some um, your own collections, you can basically filter um, the events emitted from the OpenSea Streams API and just get the events that are really, really uh, interesting um, to you. So here we have the ENS. If you want to have any other collection, you can just head over to OpenSea and get the Slack from the um, URL. And here um, I will just change a bit um, the way we are uh, listing our data. Uh, so for instance, I can just grab uh, some um, 
special uh, parameters that are interesting to me, which are, for instance, the name of the token. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Um, if you have some questions, post them uh, down below. And that's all for today. See you on this channel and thanks for watching.